Hey guys, Ben here from United Yacht Sales and welcome back to my channel. So, I hope life has been treating all of you very well and for the sake of convenience we're going to pretend that that little, uh, you know, couple month gap in my upload schedule that was temporarily interrupted just doesn't exist and we're going to continue on like nothing ever happened because man, I have got a lot of good stuff coming this way for you guys. A lot of content, a lot of new discussion videos, a lot of interesting and cool stuff. But before we get to that one, I'm going to start us off real slow with a tour of a Leopard 47 4 cabin that's lying right here in Fort Lauderdale. The boat's name is Perfect Life. Um, it's a really neat boat, real clean boat, can be shown real easy and if you're interested uh, drop me a line. My contact info is in the description. So thank you and enjoy the tour. Alright so we're here looking at the Leopard 47 Perfect Life. I'll call your attention first to the side of the boat where you see this nice gunmetal gray color. This is in fact not a paint job, it is a vinyl wrap. Looking forward, you see the logo of the boat. Uh, should you choose to rename the boat, of course, being that it is a wrap, you can selectively remove part of the wrap and add your own logo. Head and back, we'll make our way to the gate and step on board. We'll give you a sneak preview of the cockpit on this boat and it is definitely really gorgeous. Given that this is a classic Leopard, you do have access to the mechanical space and under there is the generator and the engine, as well as you can also access this by lifting up one of the aft beds. Now this boat, I'm told, has never been uh, in charter, bare boat charter that is. However, she has done some dive charter. So you'll notice there's uh, mounting racks for your scuba tanks, as well as a grill off the side. Pop over to the uh, port side uh, mechanical space. Opening it up, we see that we've got a dive compressor. That's the uh, that is the blue object, and I just like to call your attention to just how well organized everything in here is. Just owners have been uh, done a really good job. And there is your Yanmar engine, and of course, given that this is a 47, it is a shaft drive. Leopard was not sail drive until 2005 with the introduction of the 40. We'll continue our walk on the exterior now. Uh, off to our right, we have the Traveler Arch upon which the main sheet sits. And you'll notice that this Leopard also has a custom aftermarket hardtop. You've also got a real nice Isinglass enclosure that encloses both the Dodger and both sides of the cockpit. And on top of the hard top, we find a thousand watts of uh, solar panels split into three solar panels. And amazingly enough, uh, due to the davit setup that you, the owners have going here, if you wanted to add even more, you could make an arch uh, off the stern. One of the quirks of the 47 is that it does have the seats go to either side. So um, there's no real way to modify that as far as I know. So it's just one of the things you have to live with. Coming up to the uh, foredeck, you've got a pair of uh, bow seats, split trampoline, and we'll take a look at the rig real quick. The 47 has a real powerful rig, definitely one of the faster Leopards ever built. And you'll notice the owner has also added steps all the way up the mast. So if you wanna stop and work on a particular part of the rig, you can do that comfortably. I'll mention as well that this boat also has brand new uh, windows. And I think for those of you who have been following a, a certain YouTube couple that owns the smaller version of this boat, you'll notice, you'll realize how convenient that is and that you don't have to do that job yourself. So yeah, this boat has a brand new pro furl furler, brand new sails, a brand new stack pack. The canvas on this boat just shows really great. It was really impressive. Coming down into the section I like to call the nose, of the uh, Leopard, you access the anchor and your anchor roller by lifting up that little compartment. And you have two more compartments, one, those of her storage, this third one holds your windlass. That's also been recently rebuilt. And there inside you have tankage as well as uh, storage for, I don't know, boat hooks, fenders, etc.
have these bean bags, uh, which are on deck as well. A great place to la relax as well as protect the boat from hazardous docking conditions, I am told. Moving forward, you'll notice the remainder of your sheets minus the halyards go back to the cockpit and rest on this electric winch. I'll cheat a bit and pop into the cockpit this way because I am being cheeky. You'll notice the shore power connection comes into uh, that locker beneath the settee and the cockpit on the 47 is of course just huge. Every time I show a 47, everyone remarks just wow, just how much space there is. And your main sheet as well comes down beneath the traveler arch to this third winch and that's how you trim that. Looking at the helm station, currently she has a suite of Raymarine electronics, renewed uh, engine control panels, and let's go inside. All right, heading inside now, we'll look at the interior and on the 47, uh, majority of the galley interior is made up of just plain brushed fiberglass. I've got a, a U-shaped galley off to port and off to starboard, you have a sort of bowed in uh, salon seating area. And moving further afield, you have your nav station as well as your electrical control panel. It's kitted out with a little more Raymarine electronics. The owners also have this nice TV with a optional sound bar. Don't see that very often. Looking at the galley surfaces on this boat, it's obviously been very well cared for. Inside the storage, you've got space for all your tools, pots and pans. You've got a three burner stove. I'll call your attention to the ventilation on this boat. It's got four hatches. I'd say these are about half size hatches, you know, so two of them are equivalent to a single full size hatch. So that gives you about a two hatch equivalency in terms of ventilation. We'll start down to the starboard side, to the first uh, aft stateroom. And, you know, you can just tell the surface surfaces on this boat show really well. She's definitely been well cared for. You've got an athwart ship's berth, as well as the first of four heads. All of the heads on this boat, I should mention as well, are rarich and electric flush. And you'll notice that there's this step down here. And the reason for that is that under the here, you have your fuel tanks. And this boat also has brand new uh, plastic fuel tanks. I think definitely an improvement based on the original aluminum and wiring and everything looks real clean. So great job there. We'll head forward to the second stateroom. Again, I'm just marveling at the surfaces on this boat. Just shows real well. And another thing I'm sure you've noticed by now is that the owners have also added these LEDs that help illuminate the steps. So you don't trip at night and they're also a lot more energy efficient than, you know, typical incandescence. So helps when, you know, managing power on the boat. We'll heading to the port side. We'll stop and look at our cold storage setup. First off, you've got your built-in, uh, built-in fridge here. The owners have also added a little 12 volt fridge off to the side for a bit of extra storage and lifting up this fiberglass lip, you've got your drop-in freezer. We'll head to the third stateroom on the aft side, another athwart ship's berth. And notice how you have a nice window in the back for ventilation. The third head as well, given that this is a 47, this is a wet head. So if you do want to shower, you just grab the handle and like that. That said, this is the 47, so as far as wet heads go, it's still pretty spacious. Um, that is one of the benefits, of course, of having the 47 instead of the 43. I haven't talked too much about the storage areas on the boat. 
Um, obviously, you do not have as much storage as you do on a modern Leopard. That's just going to be a bit more spacious, a bit more voluminous, but you can see you've got, you know, about five storage cabinets dedicated to each stateroom. And looking at your final head, all in all, the interior of this boat just shows really great. Just because the boat is a four cabin doesn't mean that it has to be a beat up old boat. I've seen plenty of terrible owner versions as well. So this boat was really refreshing to tour and all in all, was just really impressed. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for our tour of the Leopard 47 Perfect Life. She's lying here in Fort Lauderdale and assuming she isn't already under contract by the time I post this video, feel free to check out the full listing sheet in the description. And if you're interested to go see her, give me a buzz. All right, thanks. And as you always, have a good one.